Looks like everything's in order. Welcome to Smack Talk. As always, I'm going to now have two links down below in the description box. One is going to be for the regular recap in text and the official full recap made in video format of what transpired. All right, so let me take a look at my notes so I don't have to forget anything that happened. So SmackDown, a televised show, Cole said, I could have sworn I heard him say Raw, unless he meant either Raw or SmackDown, any televised show. First time in 27 years in Germany. They are in Berlin, getting ready for Bash in Berlin. Has it really been that long? I guess so. LA Knight had an in-ring promo. He was doing the same type of open challenge that John Cena used to do, the Invitational and Ludwig Kaiser. German-born hometown hero came out to a huge pop. Not something that you're going to see too often. And it was nice. It was a nice match. But I'm glad that in the end, he didn't win. Only because, just because you're the hometown hero doesn't mean you're going to take that shit, right? Just like when we had Sami Zayn versus Roman Reigns in Montreal. Everyone's like, ah, oh, you're just going to give it to him. He's hometown hero. And once in a while, that's cool. But... To be perfectly honest, I'm actually kind of against that. Just because you're there, okay, doesn't mean anything. So LA Knight retained. Yeah. Baron Corbin and Apollo Crews versus Los Del Fantasma. However, this duo here is introduced as Los Garza. And I'm not going to lie. I think that's the first time I hear that actual word for these two. These two, decorated wrestlers, they're both third generation generation wrestlers. They've been tagging together for like over a decade, and I really like them. I like LWO, I like Baron Corbin, Apollo Crews, very interesting duo. Just because years ago, you just didn't think all of a sudden the Lone Wolf and Apollo Crews would be together, but they are. And it just it works great, and I'm happy for them, even though they lost the match. Kevin Owens and Rhodes in the ring chatting. Well, first of all, wait. Yeah, let me just follow this here. Kevin Owens and Cody Rhodes were in the ring chatting, and Cody Rhodes actually said, if I'm not mistaken, would you clobber me over the head? Kevin Owens goes on to explain he wouldn't do that. They don't have that type of relationship. Everybody else had it coming, including Sami Zayn. But he says, not you, Kofi Kingston. My bad. He did that again. But his shirt, Kevin Owens' shirt, was Sammy Forever. Sammy Zayn Forever. <laughs> so he said Sammy Zayn had it coming. I think Sammy Zayn was a face and he wasn't a backstabbing friend. Again, this is all scripted, of course, but I'm just saying. Apparently, Sammy Zayn had it coming. I don't know. They brought that up. Kevin Owens then ended up with uh, Mike dropping, whispering something in Cody's ear. What's with all the damn whispers? The Rock did the same thing when he said, I'm going to make you bleed, boy. I don't know what Kevin Owens said. I just hope that it works out well. I don't want things to always take some drastic turn. Third matchup for Carmelo Hayes versus Andrade. And after Andrade got face-planted into the exposed turnbuckle right there, Carmelo Hayes picked up the win. This was a nice match. Like I said, I really, really, really like Andrade, like, a lot. And then to close things off, this was actually really good. A street fight in which Nia Jax defeated Mishin. I mean, not to be rude, I, I wasn't expecting Mishin to pick up the world title. This was nice. Then Tiffy came out. Uh, it looked like she was going to cash in on Nia. And then Nia's like, what are you doing? I was like, that's the second time now, I think. That that happens where it kind of looks like it's going to happen. Even the ref is like, ugh. And then Bailey came out. I think it's the first time since SummerSlam that we saw her. And she was chasing Tiffy. Yeah. And then that's, uh... Wow, barely five minutes. Really? Is that all that happened? And then, Right? It's, that's just all that... What happened? I mean, that's last week's SmackDown. I was like, what? And the Bloodline promo, like I said, it sounds rude, but with Solo Sokoa talking, I really like Solo. I like the whole Bloodline 2.0 thing. I think that's going to be pretty special. We haven't seen Roman Reigns now already in half a month. I just, I don't know. 
what's going to be brewing if Jimmy's coming back, Paul Heyman, all that sort of stuff. Like, I'm really excited to see that come to fruition. Is Sami Zayn going to be a part of it? I just, I don't know. And I like that, not knowing that element of surprise and anticipation is what keeps me on my feet and whatnot. But yeah, this was fun, and I'm really excited today for Bash in Berlin. I don't know if I'm going to post the recap today. It's not like some some big channel. Ooh, look, he's talking about the recap. You can just watch it on the WWE website. But I like making these videos, so I thought that I would still, like I said, do these. Uh, depending on when Bash in Berlin occurs, I may potentially make my video today. If not, it'll be early tomorrow or whatever when I wake up. So there you have it. Thumbs up as always if you liked the video. It does greatly help support that channel with the algorithm in trying to make me more relevant in the search results, so they say, when people are looking shit up on the internet. And if you didn't like the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs down. I'll bend it in half, twist it. I'll break it off inside your ass. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, naturally that would be great. But if not, Thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care. And if I'm lucky, maybe I'll see some of you in the next one. Bye for now.